I am Anil Kumar and this video is for my student Tasfia and I hope that along with her many of the students will benefit from this video. We are discussing solution for question number 7 page 393 Nelson advanced functions. Well Tasfia let me first tell you that there are about 12 formulas for you to remember in this chapter but you really don't have to remember any one of them right? really you don't have to remember any one of them with the help of this question I will show you how with basic concepts we can actually solve all these questions what you know really is that in our coordinate system there are four quadrants right in quadrant number one all are positive in quadrant two sine is positive quadrant three tan is positive and in quadrant 4 cosine is positive. You remember it by cast rule or all students take calculus or all silver tea cup either way you want to but that is the basic which you need to know to answer all these co-functions or correlated equivalent trigonometric functions. We will see one by one how to answer such a question. The question here is, state whether each of the following are true or false, justify your decision. So I have taken six of this and let us see whether they are true or false and that will help you to also understand the concept. Now what we will assume is that theta is some acute angle. So let me just draw this theta first for you. And then we will consider the equivalent ratio. Now in this question we are given cos theta plus 2 pi. So we are given cos theta plus 2 pi equals to cos theta. Is it true or false? Now what does it mean? Theta is this plus 2 pi means from here go one full circle. If you go one full circle you come to the same point, right? So theta plus 2 pi you know are correlated angles. Now since you are at the same place, so, and both are positive here, so this statement is true, correct? So cos theta plus 2 pi, you are in the same quadrant, exactly in the same place. So this statement has to be true. Now let's look into the next one, which in our case is sine pi minus theta. So let us again assume that we are in quadrant 1 and this is the angle theta for us. Now when I say pi minus theta it means what? Pi is from here to here right? Minus theta means take away theta so you land up in quadrant 2. Correct? So in this case that is the angle theta. So when I say sine pi minus theta it really means the angle we are talking about is this. That is sine pi minus theta. Since you are in quadrant 2 and we know sine is positive, we are expecting a positive answer. But what do we have here? Negative. So this statement is false. It should be positive sine theta. Correct? So that is how you can figure it out. Now, let's take the next one. Here we have cos of pi by 2 minus theta equals to sine theta. Whenever we have pi by 2 or 3 pi by 2, we are working with co-functions. Remember that. Again to start with, in fact always take theta as an acute angle. So let's say this is our theta. Now when I say pi by 2 minus theta, it means you have to take away theta from pi by 2. This is pi by 2, right? When you take away theta, then you land up here in quadrant 1. In quadrant 1, all are positive, right? All are positive. Therefore, cos pi by 2 minus theta is going to be positive. And co-function for cos is sine. So this is true for us, correct? So this is true. Now, you can apply the same logic and can do these three questions yourself. At this moment, I'll request you to pause the video, answer these three questions and check with my 
answer, right? So let's quickly do them. So let me first draw the coordinate plane. I'm actually giving you time to solve them also, right? So first thing always, draw a coordinate plane. Second step is draw your acute angle. Remind yourself that in this position, all trigonometric ratios are positive, right? Are all positive, right? So all these values which we are talking about are positive. So on this side, we have positive values. You have to check whether on the left side, do we have positive value? If we have, then it is true. If not, it is not true. So this is another way of figuring it out, right? So let's apply this logic this time. Cos theta plus pi by 2. Well, it is exactly the same question. So let me change this question, okay? So let me change this question to cos theta minus pi, okay? So I've just changed this question. So I'm saying cos theta minus pi. It really means what? From theta, I have to take away pi, right? So when I take away pi from theta, we land up in this quadrant. Do you see that? In quadrant 3, cos is negative. So this answer should be negative. Since we have positive there, this statement is false. Do you get the idea? Correct? So we made this statement false by changing the question. Okay. Next one, you can take a hint from here. Tan pi minus theta. That is tan theta, which is positive, correct? Pi minus theta means from pi, you have to take away theta, right? It is not theta minus pi. Pi minus theta. So that is the pi for you, right? From pi, take away theta, you are left with this much. But remember, you are in quadrant 2 where tan is negative. Tan is only positive here. So we are expecting a negative answer. Since we have positive on the right side, this statement is also false, correct? Last one here is cotangent pi by 2 plus theta. Now that is pi by 2 for us and plus theta means you land in quadrant 2. In quadrant 2, cotangent is negative. But tan theta here is positive. So this statement is also false, right? So it should be minus tan theta. Do you get the point? I hope with this, you have a clear understanding of how to visualize your angles in the coordinate plane, right? And what is the effect of adding or subtracting pi or 2 pi? When you add or subtract pi or 2 pi, the function remains same, but its sign can change. However, when you add or subtract pi by 2, we get co-functions. And again, its sign will change or can change. It really depends on the rule which you remember. And that should help you to get the right answer. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You all can subscribe to my videos and learn as my students are learning. Thank you and all the best.